Welcome back to Spectrum of the Arts. We're inside the Dali Museum with the Director of Education, Peter Tush. And tonight we have a very big show that uh, you're opening up for. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, this is our Students to Realist exhibition. We've been doing the show probably almost since the beginning of the museum, so maybe 30 years. It's a show that's very different than the other shows that happen through the year for students because instead of focusing like Scholastic does on particular um, craftsmanship, I suppose, and, um, and focus on specific details, this is a show that invites them to have, use their imagination, really think outside of the box. The, the more unusual the composition and the ideas, the more we're attracted to it. So in this show, you get to see 85 students demonstrating work that truly is incredibly imaginative and fits perfectly here at the Dolly Museum. Peter, tell us where this all originated from. I mean, what was the, the starting uh, germinated seed for this? Well, back, I guess, right after the museum opened, Pinellas County School representatives realized, wow, this is a, it would be wonderful if there was an opportunity to show our students in relation to the great surrealist, Salvador Dali. And over the years, we've matured the show. It has changed a little bit um, in many ways for the better. And it's become really an incredible opportunity for both our local and our, our international community to see the work of students in Pinellas County um, and see what teachers are accomplishing in the classroom. The theme of this particular show is change is strange. So really bringing up on transformation, metamorphosis, um, juxtapositions, paradox. Um, the, the teachers are working with the idea that surrealism provided uh, a kind of granted permission for students to really experiment with throwing things together that you don't expect to see. And so this time we've actually been able to also work with, um, with a number of teachers, uh, I believe middle or elementary school teachers with the jurying of the exhibition. So it's become a more, um, I suppose, democratic process for students to be recognized by their teachers and colleagues. Now, th this show is very special because uh, next door to this space, uh, in the next gallery, uh, there's some other very famous artist over there. Can you tell us about that show? Absolutely. Yes, we are extremely pleased to have this exhibition opening in conjunction with the Andy Warhol exhibition we have. So here we are at the Dolly Museum. We have the chance to show Dolly in relation to Andy Warhol, who were colleagues of each other, even though there was 24 years difference between them. And he actually did learn a number of things from Salvador that uh, took him in an interesting direction. And so by putting the students in the same exhibition, um, our visitors get a chance to compare the two masters with the next generation of, uh, of artists in our community. How exciting is that for a student to walk in and go, hey, my art's up there next to Warhol. How cool is that? Uh, the other question I have for you is, uh, what, what can we uh, expect to see tonight when the students and their families and friends come to the show? Well, we're gonna have, we expect to have probably about 500 people, wow. lots and lots of families and friends, as you said. They're all going to be here, have a chance to see just the wide array of student artwork and what teachers have been doing in the community. They'll get a chance to see the Warhol and the Dolly exhibition. Those will both be open. And we will have um, awards for all of the uh, winners, certificates for everybody who's been involved in the show. It should be just a really wonderful evening. Thank you, Peter. Let's go downstairs and meet some of those students. What are your thoughts about being in the show? Uh, I think it's pretty cool because this is the first time any of my pieces have been in a museum. So. Okay. Okay. Well, that's awesome. And uh, so you brought your parents with you this evening, right? Yes. And what have they been uh, sharing any of their thoughts or feelings about this? Uh, yeah, my dad is a pretty good artist too. So. Uh, He's nodding his head up and down. It's surreal, I guess. It's sur it is surreal yeah. right now. Right? <laughs> Tell us about your piece here. Well, what gave you the idea to have a duck coming out of a person's head? Well, I got the idea from my boyfriend. He told me to draw him and a goose, and I just kind of combined the ideas. So. Wow, wow. Do, do you, um, I mean, that's, that, yeah, that's an interesting uh, 
idea there with the goose coming out of the out of your boyfriend's head. All right, and so is this the first time you've ever had artwork in a museum? Yes. How do you feel? Like excited. This is awesome because uh, you're next door to a very famous artist. Do you know who this is over here? No. Nope. Have you heard of Andy Warhol? Yes. Yes, your art is in the same museum as Andy Warhol and Salvador Dali. Wow. <laughs> How did you make this? Well, we took so many um, different pictures. We set our background and then we took many different pictures, cut them out of the picture and then put them into this one. I see, so it's like a, this is a collage, is that right? Yeah. It's very surreal, very surreal. Our project was for the student surreal and the, to be able to take uh, several different types of photographs and then be able to collage them together. And so he came up with a lot of things are around here from St. Petersburg, so it worked out really well. It's phenomenal. The students uh, and the parents come into the show. Uh, they love to see their, st their students' artwork up on the wall. Uh, you can see the uh, twinkle in the students' eyes as they see their pieces in a big museum, the Dolly Museum. So uh, I think it's phenomenal. I think it's a great way to uh, you know, show the students' work. I think it's fantastic and the kids are very impressed when I tell them that people come here from all over the world to the Dolly Museum. So they think they're really excited that they think people from all over see their work. What do you guys have to do in the classroom to get this type of, this level of work? We'll start with Pete. Uh, I start out by uh, teaching about the surrealism in Salvador Dolly. We read uh, Scholastic Art magazines. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> do some research. I have them do research on uh, Dolly and other uh, surrealist artists, and then uh, they have to come up with their own uh, designs and ideas from their research. So they and uh, do they get to pick the medium that they use, or do you have like parameters on that? What do you uh, What do you do? Depends on uh, the medium that we're using at the time in, in terms of the lesson. Uh, the pieces that were in this show uh, this year are uh, colored pencil pieces. I've had pieces in the past for photography, so it just depends on the medium, medium that we're using at the time. Absolutely. And Karen, how about you? Um, pretty much the same thing, but prior to this, we go through first week drawing skills, and then they learn how to use different medias, not only watercolors and pencil, but also digital. And then when we come to this, after they research what surrealism is, then I let them choose whatever media they feel most comfortable with to be successful. What an amazing venue for all of these students and their parents and families to come to the Dali Museum and see their art hanging in such a beautiful place. Spectrum of the Arts returns in a moment.